After I just take it's really, really fun one way or another. Either it's gonna get stomped very fast, or it's gonna make an amazing rage boss 1v5 late game action happen for us. Spamming it up with some emotes. Oh, it's got delicious. He's gonna get destroyed. That's gonna be a huge first blood. Ooh, he got body blocked. I, th I was sure he was gonna live there. He was just like getting saved and. He, he, he is looking for a very early kill on this Viper, and they will get it. That is huge. Get enough of these stuns off to just... Well, put Dooza in a spot where she can solo win the lane. Oh my god. Scotty Lishes, though, he is not gonna be allowed to win the lane at all. Viper just makes... He forces you to waste a ton of resources early on. Makes lasting impossible by draining your damage, and... On the bottom lane, we have some action happening. Holy crap, so Dooza died. And now, god damn it! The second I decide, okay, bot lane is more important because Alchemist getting yourself freaking double kill, they trade on top as well. Was that like a shack? We're gonna look at how Razor died so fast there after Dooza gets rendered and dived at once again. Do break her mana shield, which is super annoying, but look at the impact he, he is having. He is trying to turn this around, and one more right click from the Dooza onto this Viper is gonna do it. She really wants that kill too, because you obviously need the money. Now Dockrest, he has no TP to get out of there. It's gonna avalanche toss the Alchemist, but one more right click on him. Double kill for the Dooza Scott, he misses cosmetics. It's just a pool, like freaking poison whirlpool. And once again, the Rubik got new. Uh, the Rubik, the... Razor got needed, but there's a more important kill happening. As Scott Delicious, he just goes on down. Far bigger issue to me. I can have as many haters as... Ooh, Rupido, Rupido, oof! He does go down. Lucify manages to at least get out of there. But yeah, this game is looking harder and harder for to the point where you're the second position one. Looking at the gold, that's exactly where he's at. But, by the way, Pangolier, guess what item he has finished just now? Diffu Blade, and with that Diffu Blade, guess which hero is gonna die very, very easily? Dooza, of course. So now Gorilla, they got an Ownage. Strapped, maybe turning out to be a little bit too wacky. Come on, give us a good, at least give us a good show here. They are gonna kill off the Pangolier. No death of there with a save, and it's that two-man avalanche. In comes the Pangolier swashbuckle. Y Chen still alive. And those who know me know that I'm always pretty honest when it comes to my predictions of Dota. At least according to my best assessment. Oh no, Ember Spirit. He took a bad initiation, almost died for it. It's just the Alchemist going down for now. Lucify trying to at least space to back off for his team with the Unleashed. Able to survive. And Viper could now be in trouble. If they kill the Viper, that is a huge amount of gold swinging around. Can they kill the Viper though? Pangolier Ultimate and a Shadow Grave come out to protect them for the time being. And the Viper does finally go down. But it's Viper trained for the Razor already. And now the fight's only gonna look worse because Emma Spirit, he tried to Remnant, but he cannot activate the Remnant because the Pangolier right click comes in in time. On the back line of the fight, Lucifer fight goes down again as he is kind of the one who has to fa sacrifice himself, has to play around his team. Very lucky this arm proc on the Dooza, as Dooza procs the ultimate to try and turn this fight around once again. Pangolier could now be in a lot of trouble and he will be going down. Nice kill, because they lost their bet or some shit. And it's really sad, it's really boring, like I'm ready to throw down. I'm the type of guy that loves a good fist fight. Oh boy, we have another fight and it's gonna be a fist fight with Marcy for sure, as she fights with her bare hands of course. But nobody dying yet. Both of the support side, both sides support doing an amazing job. That's Shadow Grave in time, and now finally it goes on down. In exchange for a death on the Dazzle, and without the Dazzle, this could be a fight. Tiny goes down. Sorry for the rant, but I'm a huge nerd for a lot of things. To be quite honest, Marcy gonna go down once again. Maybe worth mentioning is that early earn of Shadow he picked up. The Void, same thing, he is just going meta build. There is nothing special other than, you know, the Midas, which people argue about a lot. And they throw down the Chronosphere to make sure Dooza is dead, because Dooza is kind of the only hero that 
Turks here will not lose immediately in a team fight. It's gonna be enough. It seems like too little, too late, and it's not like Tihi. I really like his Alchemist playstyle, and I think it's the best position 5 Alchemist we've seen so far. I just don't believe in the position 5 Alchemist. Marcy goes down once again. There is now too much stun lock for Lucify to even initiate well. But he, I, I insist that he fought the early game really freaking well. Ember Spirit slowed up and he would love to take that fight but goes in with the slow after Rupert gets nuked from full help. Alright, he jumps after him with that Aegis. A really ballsy play. Ember Spirit, ooh, that was close. But we do have a 25 minute fountain dive, so I think the game is gonna be decided. Even the Dockress kind of messed up and they get outdrafted and just get a Void who cannot be killed up against them. Well, Pangolier is get, getting caught out of position there, that's nice. And Guo Guo gets up the Shadow Grave in time. Void doesn't have a Chronosphere. She would have loved to drop onto three heroes here. And now Fonte, kind of unsure how to fight this. The Mjolnir with the creep wave are gonna keep him alive and killing off the Marcy there just with the lightning procs. Oof, that is unfortunate. Void is stunned, you stand next to him and you still die just because creeps are attacking him. But Viper goes down to Ember Spirit who has a BKB. A 2.7k health pool is just so freaking hard to deal with. And the Dooza, oh, went for the ballsy TP. But the ballsy TP isn't gonna be enough, I guess. But I'd honestly call it if I was Xerxia. Then again, they are playing with two stand and so, you know. May as well get used to one another's company. May as well get used to one another's playstyle. Ember Spirit gets one man chrono. They know full well, hey, if we kill Ember, he is not gonna respawn for quite a while. And it's 80 seconds, so buy back Ember Spirit. That so. I think Megas at bare minimum. And that despite the Duda lane actually doing surprisingly well. Like Alchemist, he was 3 and 0 at the start of this game. They just got punished by the Faceless Void in the position 1 so hard. And Guo Guo of the Dazzle did such a huge job keeping the Void alive when they still could kill him. Because obviously, Xerxes, they realized hey, this Faceless Void, he needs to freaking die. But Ember 2, em Ember Spirit 1, Faceless Void 3, or. Called it! Am I good or what? We may not have the views that ESL does, but I certainly need sex and all the immoral stuff in the world. Obviously not sex like that, but Legion Commander, she still hits on people. Violently, and that's a reference to old school Legion Commander. Okay, so to the mid lane when there's just a little brawl going on, because most of the times it's gonna be boring. And as I say that, wow, are you freaking kidding me? He turns around, okay. So I guess this game I have to watch the mid lane like a freaking hawk. Both of these players, I mean, Y10, he is a pretty good mid lane. He is very scary and... Death Prophet with the ultimate plus... Wait, how do you get the void kill without a silence there too? This is turning from bad to worse. It was just a solo death prophet when we wanted the void, and now the kill happened to. Oh no. Every single play that happens seems to just be a huge screw you for the side of Xerxia. Now the warlock is being gone on, and there is no Chronosphere yet to defend him, as Void doesn't even have level 6. It's level 5 Void against level 8 Death Prophet now, because he did die solo there once. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the commander, she walks into a Juggernaut, gets Omni Slash, and just the Omni Slash is enough to kill her. As, yeah, you were not supposed to lose this lane. I was so psyched to see a Legion Commander that knows what they're doing and a Legion Commander that knows what they're doing against Fonte on, his fa on one of his favorite heroes or at least one of his best heroes. Maybe he hates them, maybe Fonte secretly just loves to play Hyper Late Game instead. Ooh, Ember Spirit, he did still go down, the Remnant was being camped by a tiny. Duel damage there, but without the Dazzle you can still find a duel if there is more happening. That Prophet comes in, nice Spirit Siphon, everything getting thrown on Earth Spirit and yeah. Lucify, he should have just cast his... Oh, the duel though. Lucify is gonna go down, but now in exchange for a puck, you are not too happy about that anymore. A nice Chronosphere as well, but that probably should get the Spirit Siphon out before that. And Void didn't break it in time due to the avalanche. Oh no. A nice Chronosphere, but still kind of, you know... 
not nice enough. If it wasn't for the Tyxelin stand stand ins being shown in this tournament, some of which even have LFT behind their name, give them a call. T if you can't afford them for your team. Ooh, nice duel, but not nice enough. Ouch! Ouch! And the ouch is gonna continue because, like I said, Fonte, he is really good on those early... But I wanna go, but we can't really, can we? Uh, and guess who can go? Dogcrest and Fonte. Fonte is gonna get stuffed up, silenced up, dueled up. They do throw all of the combo onto this Juggernaut to make absolutely sure he's dead. And that's a high value kill. That is almost 1,000 gold swinging around just off killing one carry. It's still an 8k gold lead, so the game is still looking super hard. But if you can find more kills like that, and they will find more in the tiny. I think right now the only game plan to win this game for the Xerxia involves Legion Commander being a carry because Void goes down again and that's terrible. Oh man, this... yeah. Just make Rupido your second position one. Make sure he has like a hundred... That's at least a good sign for this game to keep going another five minutes. But that two-man silence avalanche toss combo isn't. Earth Spirit, he's lucky that Legion Commander got a really good purge off. Like I said, they did need that purge and the Legion Commander, I feel like, is a great pick to void into. Consistent. And now that YG is missing as well, they're not even an inconsistent good team. They are just trying to, you know somehow have the communication and have the teamwork required to make these stand-ins work for them. I do like that they don't GG out early though. Valuable, because that's time you get used to one another's playstyle, right? Juggernaut, they try to get him with the Warlock Ultimate instead. Guess what? Fonte is coming to get you. He does not have a shard, interestingly enough, but he does not need one as the Ultimate will still do Earth Spirit in. And a one-man coil on the Ember, as they know full well. Ember is the most dangerous hero right now. Legion Commander gets tossed into that for a double kill setup. And Teehee's Golem is even being chased by the puck to get even more gold going. Okay, puck not chasing after the Warlord. They are going mid. And at this point, yeah, it is GG. You cannot fight into this anymore.